Welcome to CCS TV News, where we bring you highlights and happenings from Coweta County Schools. For the week of May 8th, I'm Pam Lewis of Noonan High School. We'll take a look at upcoming events for the Coweta County School System, but first this. At a called meeting on May 2nd, the Coweta Board of Education approved several new leadership positions in the Coweta County School System. Earlier this year, School System Assessment and Accountability Director Dr. Julie Ration announced her retirement after the current school year, as did Dr. Shawanda Jackson, Director of Instructional Services and Gifted Education. The board approved a recommendation to appoint Noonan High School Principal Dr. Chase Puckett to succeed Jackson as the School System's Director of Instructional Services and Gifted Education and Brooks Elementary School Principal Dr. Jillian Andrew was approved to succeed Ration as the school system's Assessment and Accountability Director. Following the two appointments, the school system will seek new principals for Noonan High School and Brooks Elementary School. There's a strong tradition of leadership at the Coweta County District Office and I am looking forward to learning from my colleagues there but also looking forward to supporting principals at all of our schools as I learn a little bit more about instructional services, gifted education, and CTAE. I love Noonan High School. Um, this is one of the hardest jobs you'll ever love and being principal to these phenomenal students, staff members, and parents has been one of the greatest honors. Uh, it is bittersweet. Um, many principals move on after three or five years. Uh, I've enjoyed my ten years as principal here. I'm hoping that I'll continue to make the Noonan Cougar family proud, um, but I look forward to serving Noonan and the rest of the school system in a different role. In other action, the board appointed current Madras Assistant Principal Herbert Betts to succeed Lorraine Johnson as Principal of Madras Middle School, following her retirement later this spring. The board also approved East Coweta High School Assistant Principal Hap Hines as the new Principal of Central Educational Center Hines will replace current CEC principal David DeMint, who is approved in April to become the principal of Smoky Road Middle School in the upcoming school year. The board's action also follows another new principal announcement in March, when Lee Middle School assistant principal Amy Addison was approved to succeed Dana Ballou as the principal of Northside Elementary School, after Ballou retires later this year. We got great people in our school system, and we are very strategic about um, providing professional development opportunities uh, for aspiring leaders, both at the school and the district level, uh, to, try to, um, to try to build depth, build capacity in the organization so that when changes do occur, um, their, their um, impact is lessened to a degree because you have someone that's trained up and they're ready to go. And we try to think strategic about, strategically about who we put where. Uh, so there, there are plans for that, and we're excited about that. We're excited for those individuals who are moving on to a new chapter. And uh, the school district, um, we're, we're working hard to make sure that we put the right people in the right places uh, to continue to do great work for our community and our students. The Coweta County School System has entered the last weeks of the 2022-23 school year, and with it, a flurry of traditional school events. The 2023 Northgate High School valedictorian is Bronwyn Louise Armitage. Northgate High School and East Coweta High School held honors nights for graduating seniors on May 1st and 2nd at the Nixon Center last week. And Noonan High held its honors night on May 4th at Unity Baptist Church. Those events lead into baccalaureate programs and graduation exercises for all three high schools in the coming weeks, among other school events. I hear the voice of the yellow bird singing in the trees. This is quite absurd. Oh, yes. High school drama it's departments true. also ended their the season of spring musicals last week as East Coweta High School's Echo Stage players presented Joseph and the amazing Technicolor Dreamcoat on the Nixon Center's main stage. Maybe at first, whenever she says that, it's, this is going to feel... We caught up with East Coweta theater teacher Scott Ondocek to talk about the challenges and rewards of staging high school theatrical productions. It's a large process and a long process that you go through from acquiring the rights to auditioning to rehearsing, practicing music, practicing dance, building sets, curating costumes, whether you're building them, whether you're collecting them, borrowing them, having them made, to um, building sets props, all of those different elements that go into it. It's a, it's a 
it's a large process and a, and a long process. There's one more angel in heaven. All of them love performing and love being on stage. That's why they're here. That's why they audition for these shows and they love being up here. Um, a lot of them go on to college to pursue this. And if they don't, it still instills them with a sense of, you know, theater and community. And the best skills that I think theater can teach you is empathy. No matter what, it's just appreciating others and walking in the, um, walking in the shoes of others. So you're able to play characters that you may not have, you know, you may not have experienced the trials and tribulations that they have in their life, but you're able to, you know, have an appreciation for what they're going through by playing that character. So I think theater just makes students um, nicer and better people because it allows them to appreciate all types of people. One thing we are sure about, the dreamer, dreamer, dreamer. Now for a look ahead at events in our school system with East Coweta High School student, Olivia Rodriguez. As a part of Coweta's end of school year events, the Central Educational Center and West Georgia Technical College will hold dual enrollment graduation ceremonies at the Nixon Center at 7 p.m. on Wednesday, May 17th. Baccalaureate services are being held around the community for graduating seniors of all three high schools on Sunday, May 21st. Services will be held that day for Noonan High students at First Baptist Noonan at 2 p.m. A service for Northgate High students is being held at Crossroads Church on Highway 154 at 2 p.m. And a service for East Coweta High students is being held at Crossroads Church on Highway 16 at 3 p.m. on May 21st. Those and other events lead to graduation ceremonies the last week of school on all three high school campuses. East Coweta High School's commencement will be held on Wednesday, May 24th at 7.30 p.m. at Shoemake Stadium. Noonan High School's commencement will be held on Thursday, May 25th at Drake Stadium. And Northgate's commencement will be held Friday, May 26th on Henry Selden Field. Attendees should check school websites for more information about parking and other end-of-year activities. Other activities are coming up at the Nixon Center for Performing and Visual Arts. Center Strings will hold its Celebrate Spring concert on Tuesday, May 9th at 7 p.m. in the Center's Black Box Theater. Northgate High School's band concert will be held Tuesday, May 9th in the Center's main auditorium. East Coweta High School will hold its choir concert on Thursday, May 11th at 7 p.m. in the Center's main auditorium. And this summer, Coweta High School students have the opportunity to rehearse and perform a Shakespearean play in two weeks as a part of the Nixon Center's STAR program. Auditions will be held on June 5th from 6 p.m. to 8 p.m. and June 6th from 9 a.m. to 11 a.m. at the Nixon Center. Students who wish to audition for this year's Center's STAR program will need to prepare a 60-second Shakespearean monologue to perform and selected students will work with theater experts on stage combat and Shakespearean dialect. Rehearsals and performances will be held in July. To find more information about star auditions and information about tickets, showtimes, and upcoming Nixon Center events, go to www.thenixoncenter.net. Thanks, Olivia. Lee Middle School student Abigail Sandlin was recently announced as the State of Georgia's eighth grade winner of the 2023 Young Georgia Authors Contest. The prestigious Georgia Authors Competition is open to any student currently enrolled in Georgia public schools, grade K through 12, and is sponsored by the Georgia Language Arts Supervisors and the Georgia RISA Network with support from the Georgia Department of Education. Sandlin won for her short story, Rain Instead of Snow. We met Miss Sandlin and her teacher, Cindy Todd, to hear about her honor. It kind of covers the feeling of getting rain, figuratively and literally, instead of snow at Christmas, because that's something that everybody wants, just doesn't normally happen, especially here. I've won a tenter contest for a long time, and it had just been Christmas, so I had some inspiration off of what I had hoped would happen, and it just kind of went from there. Abigail did a great job in this story. Um, 
I like, it's got a definite theme to it, and so many times writers at this level, they tell a story, but there's really no deep meaning behind it. But hers definitely has that deep theme. Um, it's, I believe writing is cathartic for the right person, and I think this is her way of going inside herself and helping her to have a release of the things that teenagers have to deal with on a regular basis. And finally, following last week's observation of National Teacher Appreciation Day, another day of observance is held this week. Wednesday, May 10th is National School Nurses Appreciation Day. School nurses serve all 32 Coweta schools under the Coweta County School Health Program. We visited Poplar Road Elementary to hear more about the important contributions of these healthcare professionals in our schools. Well, I come in and every morning I'm here for the kids when they get off the bus. If they have any boo-boos or they don't feel good, they come and see me and we do medicines if they need that. And I see them during the day based on if they're feeling bad, they come see me and if they need to go home, I'm the ticket to call mom and say hi. About 85% of our students uh, when they come in with an illness or an injury are able to return to class. Um, and I think that is a, a strong endorsement for having trained health care providers in our schools. I think our nurses play an important role in identifying what could be an urgent or emergent situation and also managing um, health care issues to try to keep them in school and in the classroom so they can learn. That brings us to an end for today's show. Thanks so much for joining us. CCS TV will return to bring you more stories from the Coweta County School System. Now we'll go to Superintendent Evan Horton for some parting thoughts. In recent months, we've highlighted the honors, events, and celebrations that go on at the end of a school year. It's a time that allows us all to reflect on the year that has passed and on years of diligent work by our students and teachers. It's a time for families to remember the twists and turns of getting a student to the graduation finish line. And the end of a school year is a time when many parents are reminded of that day they dropped their child off for the first day of kindergarten. I can guarantee you, those of us in the school system remember and reflect on those things for our students also as we watch them move on to new chapters. We're also reminded of that when our colleagues, many of them longtime teachers and leaders in our systems, retire and move on to their own new chapters as well leaders like Shawanda Jackson. Even as we do, we in the school system always keep our eyes on the future. If tackling big projects like the rebuilding of Noonan High School teaches us anything, it's that we aren't just doing things for our students today. We're doing them for coming generations of Coweta County students and families. We know we have to always be thinking about that future and about the next generation of leadership for our school system. So I congratulate Noonan High School Principal Chase Puckett, who will take over for Dr. Jackson, and Brooks Elementary Principal Jillian Andrew, who will step into the role of Director of Assessment and Accountability when Julie Ration retires later this year. And congratulations to our new principals, who will take their place and the place of retiring leaders in the new school year. They all have big shoes to fill, but I'm confident they'll have the drive and vision to steward our school system into the future. Congratulations, too, to our young Georgia author winner, Abby Sandlin of Lee Middle, and to her teacher, Cindy Todd. And thanks to our school nurses for all they do, and to our teachers and staff for doing amazing things for our students during this hectic time of year. Thanks, and we'll see you again soon.